Now this is a parallel uh, parallel RL uh, circuit. So this is R connected in parallel with I. Okay. And current flowing through R is I R and current flowing through L is I L. Then I R is equal to uh, I is equal to I R plus I L. And we know that the phasor of L is this one. That is the V L will be the 90 degree with respect to I L. So this is a one form, and we can say that this one is the second form. Okay. So if V L is in the x direction, then I L in the negative y direction. So and second thing, X L is equals to J omega of L is equals to this is a reactance. Okay, and this is B of L is equals to one upon X L. That will be the suspectance. And S is equals to one upon Z is equals to conductance. Okay. And Y is equals to one upon Z is equals to admittance. Now, in parallel, voltage will be will be same in both the R and L. So. We are taking here as a V, and current is different as I R and I L. Okay, so I R I is equals to I R plus I L in parallel. So if we make phasor diagram of this one, then V is same for R and L. So we will take it is a V uh, as a reference x-axis. Then I L is in the direction of 90 degree. This one. This is the I L, and this one is the I R because V, V, and I have a same phase in the R circuit. So I R will be in this direction, and then our resultant will be this one. This is I, and the angle from this will be the theta. This one is the I L. So we can say that I is equal to I R, I R plus I L. This is a current triangle. Now I is equal to V upon R is V upon Z is equal to V upon R plus V upon X L. So this implies that V Y Is equals to that should be G G V plus J P into V. So we can say that G minus J of So this this is a conductance is equals to this one is the admittance is equals to conductance minus J suspectance. So this is the admittance. This one is the conductance and this one is the suspectance. And we took a negative sign because of this one. Here the Here the current is in the negative direction, so we will take it as a minus of 90 degree. This one, this is a minus 90 degree with respect to P L. Now, impedance triangle. Impedance, or in this case, it will be the admittance. Admittance triangle. Will be this one is Z, so this is the Z, and this is the minus of beta of, of L, so this is the beta B of L, and this one will be the Y, and this is the angle theta, and this is B of L. So we can say that Y is equals to G minus beta of L 
So y is equals to root of g square plus b of l square and m theta is equals to b l upon z. So theta is equals to n inverse b l upon g. And now power triangle. So this is a z in this direction, i r in this direction. So our actual power, active power, p is equals to b square by b square g, b square g, and this is a q. Q will be b square b l, and this one is the s. This is the active power, this is the reactive power, this has a unit of watts and this is a unit of volt ampere reactive and this S is equals to V square by has a, it is a complex power, has a unit of volt ampere. And again, this will be the Q only, and this is the angle theta. So we can say that S is equals to P plus J Q. So S is equals to root of P square plus Q of square. Tan theta is equals to tan theta is equals to Q upon P is equals to and Q is already B square B L. So we can say that B L upon G. So theta is equals to 10 inverse B L upon G. Okay. So that was the overall discussion related to the RL parallel circuit. Now in the next video we will see the behavior of RC parallel circuit in the in the sinusoidal steady state. Okay. Thank you.